Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, it is Monday, September 28th. We are getting really close to, uh, to October. I can't believe it. A um, couple things. One is, um, well, I'm going to talk about Seagull going live. I'm going to share just a couple of thoughts on that. Um, but the first thing I wanted to sh share, though, is um, just how deeply proud I am of, of you. Um, this is, this has been <clears throat> obviously a year like no other, but you have been incredible. You have been, uh, such a blessing to me, a blessing to our staff. Um, the middle school is, it's a great place and it's because of you and the staff and, um, I just can't thank you enough. Um, I'm just so proud. You know, even when it comes to the masks, I know that we have to remind you every once in a while. And that's just, that's what we have to do. We, we don't have a choice. Um, I don't like the masks any more than you do. But I know that they help. And I know that I want to stay in person and not be a principal from my basement office at my house. That I do know. Um, and so you kind of joining in on the team and and working through this um, helps us do that, you know. And and so I just I'm just thankful for that. I'm thankful for you. A um, couple of things that I wanted to read. Uh, <clears throat> there's kind of an opening prayer here, so I'm going to open us in prayer um, real quick. It just says, "Father, you alone know what lies before me, before you, before us this day." Grant that in every hour of it, I may stay close to you. Let me today embark on no undertaking that is not in line with your will for my life, nor shrinking from any sacrifice. In other words, I'm not going to back down. Um, nor shrink from any sacrifice. So wearing the mask, that's an example of a sacrifice. We're not shrinking from it. We're going to just do it. Which your will may demand. For my Lord's, my Lord Christ's sake, uh, amen. Uh, and then there's a, a scripture that I wanted to share with you um, that is out of Psalm, but it's out of a different um, chapter and verse. Psalm uh, 63, it says, you God are my God. Earnestly I seek you, I go after you, I thirst for you. My whole being belongs for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because of your love, because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. In other words, what we say and do. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches, richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. So I wanted to read that. <clears throat> and then um, I wanted to read this quick, just a little quick reflection piece. Um, it says... What does it look like to seek God earnestly? In other words, with all your heart and mind. The dictionary tells us that the definition of the word earnestly is serious in intention, purpose, or effort. Sincerely zealous. In other words, I mean, when you add up all those words, I mean, that just says get after it with all you've got. Now, that's a pretty weighty definition, particularly when we apply it to seeking God. But... Uh, do I have serious intention when I seek God, or is it just kind of casual, half hour? Yeah, if I do it, great. If not, whatever. No, no. It says intentional. It says now. It says with purpose. It says every day. I am serious in purpose, or am I aimless adrift? So am I, am I all over the place? Um, am I serious in effort, or am I just kind of lackadaisical? So that's the question you're asking yourself. 
My guess is that if I indeed want to find him in my seeking, it will depend a good bit on the earnestness of my seeking. In other words, how much I go after it. At least that's what Jeremiah would tell us. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. The Hebrew word for earnestly is shakar, which means to seek diligently. This word gives the definite impression that the thing that is being sought in this manner is the first thing, the most important thing, or as Jesus said, the one thing. When we seek something in this way, all other things take a back seat. So what does it look like to seek God earnestly? Or more particularly, what does it look like for me, for you, for us, to seek him earnestly? Exactly how am I seeking him? And is that enough? All great questions to ponder. Um, anyway, I thought, that was, I thought that was good. That was a good reminder, for me at least. So, to seek and to know God, yes. To do it earnestly, like all you've got, even better. Okay. Uh, we've got some more map testing uh, this week. Uh, your teachers have that schedule. Um, we have a couple of grades that are going today. Um, we're getting close. Uh, but anyway, that's that's where we're at with that. Uh, we've got uh, the dining hall cleanup crew is Cash Dershel, Brock Moody, Diego Pellegrini, and Kessid Fitzgerald. Um, again, Cash, Brock, Diego, and Kessid. Those are, that's our cleanup crew for this week. Um, the weather looks beautiful today, a little chilly. Uh, looks like it's going to be <clears throat> sunny all week. So that's good. So I think that that is it for me. Um, I'm going to close this in prayer. Lord, I am yours. I do yield. In other words, I give up myself entirely to you, and I believe that you do take me. I leave myself with you. Work in me, us, you, 6th grader, 7th grader, 8th grader, teacher, staff. Um, work in me all the good pleasure of your will, and I will only lie still in your hands and trust you. Amen. I will only lie still in your hands and trust you. All right, team. Have a uh, have a great day. I'll see you in the hall. Bye.